Alright guys, we're going to start um, with our two more examples of solving for Punnett squares. I'm sorry I tried to rush through solving that last one on that sheet. I should have just done all three on a different video. Um, but take out a separate sheet of paper and we'll do two more exam examples and hopefully these will make sense and I'll do a better job explaining each step. So first you're going to draw your Punnett square and we're going to use the genotypes um, big B, big B, and little b, little b. So those are our genotypes, okay? Genotypes are the letter combinations that represent a trait. And then we're going to start to fill in the box. And each box is a quarter. So this Punnett square has four quarters, which equals 100 or 100%. 100 so when we're counting later, that's how we get those numbers. Okay, so we're going to take the big B all the way down, little b across, that gives you big B, little b. We're going to take this big, big B down, this little b across, gives you big B, little b. We're going to go big B down, little b across, gives you big B, little b. You're going to go big B down, little b across, gives you big big B little b. So now we're going to count them and decide how many we have of the same genotypes. So if we look at our genotypes we have a big B little b. We have a big B little b, a big B little b, and a big B little b. So this one should be easy. It's a hundred percent heterozygous because the letter combinations are different and we know that hetero means different. So 100% heterozygous is our genotype. And then our phenotype is going to be what those letters represent in a physical trait or what in what we can see. And we're going to do eye color again and so that if it's got a capital letter in the any of those boxes for those combinations then that is going to be the dominant trait so capital B is brown eyes so we have one two three four we have a hundred percent brown eyes for our phenotype okay we'll do another example if you were gonna okay here's our next example so draw your Punnett square you've got big B little b for your genotype and you've got little b little b for your genotype and I already filled in the first box we brought the big b down little b across so that gave us big b little b then we brought the big b down little b across and that gave us big b little b then we did big b oh excuse me then we did little b across and little b down and that gave us little b little b and we did the little b down, and we did the little b all the way across, and that gave us little b, little b. So now we have to determine our genotypes and our phenotypes. Remember, our genotypes are the letter combinations. So we've got four boxes, and in this first box we have a big b, little b. And so how many other boxes do we have just like that one? We've got this box, so that's two. And then our other genotype is little b, little b. And how many boxes do we have like that? Another one there. So we've got two. So our genotype is 50% big b, little b, which is heterozygous, and 50% little b, little b, which is homozygous. So here's where we get the first 50%. Here's where we got the second 50%. Then our phenotype is what we see based on those letters. So we have a big B little b here and a big B little b here. So that gives us 50%. We've got a capital letter and a capital letter. So that means those are dominant. We got 50% brown eyes. Then we have this box here and this box here in lower cases. And so that means those are recessive. So this is where we would see the recessive gene show up, and that means we have 50% blue eyes, or a 2 to 2 ratio. 
All right, so there's your two examples. We will do tons more practice. Bring this page with these two examples plus your fun sheet to class tomorrow.